Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan, the retired broker. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about part three of how to make $100,000 plus as a bank financial advisor. So look, this might be a little, I'm probably gonna get some pushback from this for sure, um, but this is a way to really grow your book of business without having to do any real work, okay? Look, you're going to have different opinions on this, whatever, but it's a ruthless business, okay? So let's start one, let's start with house accounts. Every firm is going to have house accounts. What does that mean? Basically, it means it's an account, it's somebody's brokerage account that's not assigned to a financial advisor. So maybe the financial advisor quit, got fired, got transferred to another advisor. Basically, the account just ended up in the back office. So it'll say house on it or no rep available, no rep. So when you see an account like this, and you'll see it either through just scrolling through the client database, if you pull up a random person, pull up somebody that comes to your office from out of town, somebody you haven't seen before, or even searching for them. You can search for them by just typing in a random last name into the search bar at your firm, and you can look through them all. This is whenever you have free time or on the weekends or whenever you can, just click on them and look, usually it's in the top right, who the advisor is. And you can find house accounts that way. Just search a random last name, go through them all. Do it on a weekend, do it after hours, whenever you have time. Look, I know it sounds cheesy. I know it might sound like cheating. It's clearly not. You're just finding house accounts. So if a person comes in from out of town, that's a house account, or you find one, it's simple. You just call them. Hey, this is Dan from ABC Firm. I'm just reviewing your account. Wanted to make sure you're on the right track. I notice you don't have a financial advisor assigned to your account. I'd like to be your advisor and, and give you every six months, give you a financial review or every quarter, give you a financial review. Usually they're going to say, yeah, sure. So what I'll do is I'll just add my name to, to your account. Your statements will stay the exact same. You'll just see my name in the top corner. I'll mail you one of my cards today but I wanna stick with you and give you a review every six months, make sure you're on the right track. Like I said, nine times out of town, time, nine times out of 10, sorry, they're gonna say, yeah, sure, that sounds great. I'd like a financial advisor to review my account with me. And that's basically how you're gonna get a free client. Now, here's the other one that's gonna be a little bit more controversial you're gonna have people come in to your bank branch that are either from out of town or just in your neighborhood and needed to do some banking, needed to place a trade, had a quick question, whichever. They're gonna have an advisor assigned to them already. What you can do is you look in the account and it'll show the last time the advisor contacted these people had a conversation, reviewed these people. We all take notes, we all put it in the computer. If it's been six, 12 months, well, preferably a year plus. If it's been a year plus since they've talked to their advisor, try to get that client under your management. If that client just moved to your town and his old advisor is across town or even better yet, an hour or two away in a different state, get that client under your management, okay? It just go like this, simple. Hey, I noticed your advisor hasn't talked to you since last year. Do you have a relationship with him? No, no, I never really talked to the guy. Well, look, if you're doing your banking here, let's just move your account under this bank branch. Nothing will change. It'll just say my, my name on the top of the statement. And I'll make sure to follow up with you every six months. Make sure you're gonna be achieving your goals. Make sure you're on the right track. Now, when the other advisor finds out, he's going to be upset. He might not. If it's a small account, he probably won't care. If he hasn't been servicing the account, he probably isn't going to care. But you have to make a case for this to your boss if he does 
start a start a problem basically. So look, he hasn't talked to this guy in a year. He lives in my neighborhood now. He wanted to house his account with me. He wants to do quarterly reviews, every six month reviews, whatever it would be. I'm building a relationship with him. This other broker hasn't. I'm doing something the other broker hasn't. Look, you're not gonna make friends this way. Probably don't tell other advisors you're doing this. You're looking for house accounts. You're taking other brokers' uh, clients that they haven't been servicing. You're not gonna make friends. Probably don't talk about it in your quarterly meetings like I mentioned in the other video. But look guys, if you're in this business, you want a best friend, get a dog. Cause it's a rough business. And sometimes you gotta claw your way to the top. Let me know your thoughts below. Thanks.